When I got to Ecuador, the main thing I wanted to do was go deep into the Amazon and stay with some of the people who still live there. I found out about the Warani tribe, who are the most recently contacted tribe in the Ecuadorian Amazon, which was about 50 years ago. Some of them have transitioned to a modern life, but there are still some that live deep in the jungle and practice their traditional ways. And that's who I wanted to visit. After a long bus and several days of riding in a canoe, I finally made it to the village. The Rurani are hunters, fishermen, and gatherers, so they use what the rainforest provides for them. They don't have guns and rifles like hunters in the Western world. Instead, they use poison and wood and natural elements. In these videos, we get an inside look at how they hunt, live, and survive. This is Luis. He is going to show us all about the Rwani culture and the secrets of the jungle. Our first stop was to meet Minyanwa. He is 75 years old, will be the next shaman, and is known as one of the greatest hunters during his prime. So is he is he a very good hunter? So he says that when he was ten, when Luis was ten years old. He remembered that Nuno was one of the best ones. After meeting Minyanwa, we headed out into the jungle. They say that this, this tree has a ghost uh, spirit. It has a ghost spirit. What it was and what? What does that mean? It, it tries to scare you. I say it has like a lady. The tree has a lady? The story is that this 500-year-old sacred sibo tree is possessed by a woman spirit. And they test how brave a man is by sending him out here alone at night, giving him ayahuasca, which makes him hallucinate, and seeing if he survives. If he does, he is a brave man. And this cotton is where they're going to put the cotton. So they're gonna put this, the next thing that they're gonna do is put this. Something like that, maybe it's not much. So they put it next to that part that you make there. And this is gonna help you to do a nice seal. And now, once the seal is ready, you are gonna put it in the, in this part. Okay. See? Ah, see, he's got a big mouth, so I didn't saw the mouth already. He knows the weapon, but it's, it's like that. Huh? Okay, get in there. Oh, my I'm watching. Hold on. Did he get it? <laughs> so first we got a quick lesson on how to use a blowgun which they use for hunting and now we get to see how they climb up a tree he's literally using a vine to wrap around his feet I'm probably going to get bit. <laughs> I have an address though. I can't do this with a dress we, on. We look to the other side. Here. Do I jump? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> 
No, I can't. You get good. <laughs> Now we're going to go look for a certain tree to uh, make some darts from. And then later we will find a root to make the poison for the darts. So he's going to throw one down, okay? <clears throat> Four darts. What makes the woods this wood special? It's, it's a good palm and it's a straight up. Also used for hunting, Luis makes a bird whistle, which calls the birds into the area. So now next step is finding this special vine. It's a vine that grows high up in the trees. It has poison in it that they will later put onto darts and then use for hunting. It paralyzes their prey. You will hear me refer to it in the video as a root. It's not a root, it's a vine. There's a flat one here, but that one is dry. So we are back in the rainforest and looking for the poison root. We have the whole gang with us. Some of the women hunters and men were wani. And we just came to one area and the root is dead. So now we're about to go try another area. We might have just found something for food for later. Let's see. We found a tortoise. Oh. It's a male. <laughs> and then my childhood dream comes true. <laughs> Do we call me Tarzan or Jane of the Jungle? <laughs> <laughs> We found the root. Yeah? Grande. 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 Hey, <laughs> <laughs> After a long but successful day of being deep in the Amazon jungle, we are now heading back to the village where Namo will finish the preparation and cooking of the darts. He's gonna make the cone now. From there, have to be cooked. So the bark is actually where all the poison is. 
Why does he use his mouth as opposed to just Porque pouring it? It's a perfect size. Perfect size, wow. So, and then you use the razor to put it in the, the sticker. <laughs> Rolling it in it. And finally, we go on a quick hunt. We did not have a successful hunt, but that certainly didn't stop us from having fun. I swear, boys will be boys no matter where in the world they are from. Luckily, we did have some luck fishing, and so piranha dinner later on. Stay tuned for part two, more with the Warani tribe.